Thank you for joining us here today. We'll be taking some questions now. That's all we have time for today, thank you. It is a fixture with echoes from history. Certainly, we're talking about two of the most successful teams in the game with such passionate sets of supporters. All the live action from the Emirates coming up next. It's Arsenal against Manchester United. And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal versus Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Three goals in the last three games. He looks a real threat whenever he gets the ball, and I'm sure he'll add to that tally today. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Bernd Leno stands between the posts. Thomas Partey starts alongside Lucas Torreira in the middle of midfield. And on this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> An absorbing match in prospects. Manchester United get the ball rolling.
promising looking ball real chance and there it is the opening goal the ideal way to start well here it is again and the keeper's lost his concentration here He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. So on they go again. And that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Scott McTominay. And taking it away. Who can he pick out? Just the clearance that was called for. Partey. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And over it comes. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Well, as we look at the table, the quest for Champions League football next season continues and this match could tell us an awful lot. What do you think the mentality of the two sides will be, Stuart? Well, I think there's going to be some edgy players out there today because neither side can afford to lose this one. But if they both play at their best, this will be an excellent game today. Just too much on that pass. Bruno Fernandes United might be able to cash in but quick thinking defensively bodies forward and the break looks on can they keep it going a goal here giving his team precisely what they were looking for now he deserves to celebrate it well here's the replay and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Well, a second goal for them here. It's with Alex Tennis. It's with McTominay. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Well, clattered away. Well, it's been very hard to escape the Eddington Cavani story ahead of this game. And if you believe the story's coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. United could get in behind the defence. Still a chance. Well, it could have been, but for the offside flag. Sancho. The defender put in the challenge, and it might be a red card. And a red card it is. Denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Well, as soon as he made the tackle, he knew the outcome. That's an easy decision for the referee. A time for composure on the ball. Counter attacking very much an option. 
And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, as you can see, he gets there first. He makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's in, that's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there, that's a fantastic stop. And over comes the corner. Bruno Fernandes, Ronaldo at the ready. Oh, a really good header, but the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. Ronaldo, but really sticking to the task defensively. He's going forward well here. Well, that's how to beat your opponents. Well, let's see about the cross. It should be! Just not looking confident in possession. Granit Xhaka and now Dominic Carvert-Lewin it's with McTominay excellent vision not the best clearance well no stopping him and the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. And deep into the penalty area. Well, such a high degree of difficulty, not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. Granit Xhaka. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Can someone get on the end of this? And a no-nonsense clearance. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Bruno Fernandes, Matic, Alex Tevez, Sancho, McTominay, and danger still! And they could face difficulties here. Alex Tevez, and a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo! So typical of him. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So back underway at 3-1. William. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Advantage, Arsenal. 
And an astute piece of defending. Manchester United have lost the ball. Thomas. This might have potential. Could cross it in here. Speculative ball fired to the near post. A deft clearance. Well, nearly at the halfway stage in this one. And United have left themselves with an awful lot to do. Stuart, your impressions? Well, they can certainly play better than... Wonderful chance! And the keeper showing tremendous command. And he'll go back and hand out a yellow card here. Yeah, he was always going to go back for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Jadon Sancho. Well, no way through. Under some pressure. In position here to protect the ball. Granit Xhaka. And now Dominic Carbert-Lewin. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. And a creative look about this. Torreira. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Alex Tellez has it. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Ronaldo. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Well, no problems defensively. This is Nemanja Matic. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, here's a story that certainly has captured our attention. Edinson Cavani could well be on his way to Atletico Madrid. Well, if we can believe the papers, an official bid has been made. Not too surprising, really, as there have been rumours for quite some while of a move. Hopefully we'll find out over the next couple of weeks. In the right place to cut out the pass. That's a splendid ball from Ronaldo. A matter of keeping his composure. And breaking at pace with Menace. Can they take advantage of the situation? And space for the cross. A decisive clearance it was. Xhaka. Thomas now. Effective challenge. A really sumptuous ball. And a pretty ordinary challenge. Could reduce the deficit. Oh dear. That moment might come back to halt Miss. You sense that had to go in if they're to turn this around. They simply haven't been at the races today. Kieran Tierney. Really well played pass. A bit of running room now on the wing. Now delivering that deep cross. And nodding it just a bit too high in the end. Rafael Varane. It's with Alex Tellez. Jaden Sancho. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact on attack that we were expecting, Stuart. Well, he has to find space in more dangerous areas. He's such a good player around the box, but today he struggled to get on the ball. Off and running again as we reflect upon an eye-catching first-half display from Arsenal. And 
dispossessed. Diogo Dallo. This is Varane. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Playing with purpose and control. McTominay on to Matic. Alex Teres. McTominay. A fine use of the ball. And a good take under duress there. This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? Oh, that's a fine save. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Arsenal facing West Ham United. Chance to do damage. But they took care of the situation defensively. Granit Xhaka. Tierney. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Getting in there to take it away. Covert Lewin. He's in with a chance. That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. So a personnel change then. Delivering it. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Good bit of pressing. A very effective challenge put in. Jaden Sancho. Sancho. The cross is on. Well, it wasn't the easiest header to control, but still he'll be a bit disappointed. Calvert-Lewin well he's thwarted him almost effortlessly and he read it superbly Calvert-Lewin a foul but no whistle instead advantage with Arsenal well he was very keen to give them the advantage but instead it will be a free kick now and in the event just a talking to but could easily have seen yellow body in the way Cristiano Ronaldo and space for them here on the flank but they dealt with the threat posed Calvert-Lewin Calvert-Lewin and he's through here oh good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted Played over. That's all they can conjure for now. The delivery. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Holding. Granite Jacker. Pepe. Must be. The crossbar got in the way. Well, he couldn't strike it much better than that, could he? That was a great effort. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV.
It's Manchester United facing Brentford. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Matic. Opportunity it is. Wasted chance. Easy for the goalkeeper. Cristiano Ronaldo. Matic. On a crucial intervention inside the box. Ronaldo. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Calvert-Lewin well read to put an end to that attack Calvert-Lewin looking confident with the ball at his feet targets available, cross comes in well the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all in actual fact Alex Tellez has it Cristiano Ronaldo. Diogo Dallo on the ball. And teammates to play it to. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. a change for Manchester United <laughs> delivering it well that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper Bukayo Saka over the touchline for a throw in Torreira holding now Calvert-Lewin and the pass could do damage still could be dangerous Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, that was a top save. I can't believe that didn't go in. Diogo Dallo. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Lingard. On to Bruno Fernandes. Alex Tellez. On to Bruno Fernandes. Oh, I think he'll be kicking himself. Ruled offside. Well, his instinct should have told him he was offside there. He has to be more alert in the box. Well, not far away from full time and a disappointing Manchester United outing this. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to... And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Arsenal have given it away. United might be able to cash in. McTominay. Rashford. 
And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Smuggled away. Opportunity. Well, at this late stage, you've got to be opportunistic. Well, there's no way back now, I don't think. He had to finish that one. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 25, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. To be replaced by number 9, Alex Lacazette. Ruben Neves. Ten minutes to go then. An awful lot of green space to run into. It needs an accurate cross. Able to get a body in the way. And over comes the corner. Not really the ideal clearance. Now can they counter clinically? Arsenal have it back. Mali prevented it from going over the line. He's found a pocket of space. Oh, he wasn't rude. enough in front of goal keeper has it now advantage Arsenal but he could run onto it here Tierney a gift for any goalkeeper Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Will he play it in? Oh, surely. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. been such a one-sided game you just wonder how many more they could add Lacazette Juan Mata Cristiano Ronaldo and he takes it on and the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers Rashford and a fine stop oh it's narrowly wide so unlucky
now a decent position. Rashford. The delivery. Just the clearance that was called for. Has the strength to hang on to it. And the referee blows for full time. The big headline here, defeat for United. Your assessment of the game. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was... Time for a quick question. Thanks so much.